Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today we are doing something not on the Bajero for once, but on the 86. We're changing some brake pads because we need to stop because I don't have any left. <laughs> we just be sending and we're braking and we get no brake. So first things we're going to be doing is loosening the wheel nuts, slug nuts, whatever you want to call them. Then we're going to be jacking it up and maybe using jack stands, maybe not using jack stands. I'll see how I feel. But first, let's have a look at what I've got today. <laughs> let's turn the camera around and show you guys. So this is what I picked up today. It's like a semi-decent jack, I believe. Um, here it is in all of its glory. Not bad, honestly. I paid like, what? I don't know, 2,500 bucks for it. Here's this instruction manual. You don't need that. That's useless. So let's take off this polystyrene. Oh, get in. I'm very excited to use this. I haven't used one of these in a while. It's going to make life a lot easier working on that. That and that, and maybe some future projects. <laughs> anyway, let's quickly get this out the box, put that under the car, and carry on installing what I need to show you guys. We're going to be installing some EBC green stuff pads. So these are like a street. Yeah, these are these are green stuff. I'll show you now. These are basically for street and for like a little bit of um harder driving uh the yellow stuff just wear out way too quickly what i've heard about so yeah as you can see toyota gt86 brz 2012 and on so this is what we're going to be putting in the 86 today let's get to it so before we even put the car up in jacks let's have a look here and see what is inside this ebc box so instructions we shall read these thoroughly um some more instructions some thanks for choosing ebc brakes thanks bro uh-huh oh so these are like the backing pads okay i get that the backing plates sorry then oh yes baby stickers <laughs> this is actually why we bought the brakes stickers um some more backing plates some more oh, stickers. We know where that's going after we finish this install. <laughs> and then, obviously, this is what makes them so insanely cool. Is the actual pad themselves. They're green. So, I mean, this is badass. Let's have a look here. Like, this is going to look so insane on the side there. It's going to be poking out like that. Ooh, like that. It's going to be green. That is insane. Okay, so let's show you guys how to get this thing up. Get everything off then actually go inside the brakes themselves and quickly change the pads so first things first let's loosen all the lug nuts all right let's go guys uh and always remember to loosen these on the ground before you jack it up so let's get them all loose okay now that they're loose we're gonna jack the car up and then I'm going to loosen the other side, but we're going to fall one side. So I'm going to quickly jack the car up and then we're going to carry on. Something like that. Okay, so what we're going to do, guys, we're going to put the jack into place. Uh, yep, something like that. And then you just need to find where that jacking point is under the car. I remember, E. there we go, we should fit. There should, you just need to find the cross member. Where is it? Uh, you can't see it. I'm going to put you upside down. Uh, it should be pretty much halfway there somewhere. I'm going to quickly find it, but yeah, it's basically somewhere halfway there. Get on the cross member, and then you should be able to jack it up safely and strongly. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm going to see if I can't get you in there. Um, there you can see the cross member. We're on that cross member right over there. And that will basically be your strongest point to jack up. So we're just going to carry on jacking it until the wheel is off the ground. Then we can take the wheel off. Let's get that done. I was able to find one jack, guys, so that's perfect. I'm going to use this jack. Keep that there. Lower it down a bit. Put on the jack. And then keep the floor jack over there as an emergency. Let's take this wheel off.
Next, guys, what we're going to do is, because Subaru and Toyota love this so much, mainly Subaru, is you're going to take your 14 mil, locate your bottom, where is it? There we go. Your bottom slider uh, at the back here of the caliper. And then you're going to quickly loosen it, and we'll be able to flip this caliper up like that. Let's do that. So we're here on the workbench, guys, and as you can see, uh, yeah, <laughs> slightly tired, if you ask me. It's like a bicycle. Do you know how a bicycle fell over? Because it goes too tired. <laughs> I'm going to stop. <laughs> yeah, you can see the backside where the actual, um, where the pistons are, definitely slightly lower. Fairly even way, which is great. I mean, versus that. So let's go get them in, and I'm going to, I've got a method to um, basically, instead of using like a plunger, to open up the um where those uh the pistons come out i'm going to show you something else so let's go get these put these anti-squeal pads on the back of them and then yeah let's put the set in then we're done so these anti-squeal um cover pad things literally you just slide over the, the top of them and you just push them over and then they clip into the top and the bottom over there so did that with these let's go get these in the car and i'm going to show you my little trick <laughs> push back those pistons like i said let's head there so what i've done is i've held up the um the caliper oh it's a nice little corrosion oh yay lovely rust i love rust is i've held up the caliper just with a piece of wire tied around the shock so what we're going to do now is these obviously go in pretty simply like that right oh come on get in there oh there there and then in the bottom like let me do it with two hands and then you'll see what i'm talking about so guys what i have in my hand right here is a g clamp what, what you use for welding what you're going to do is you're going to put it up to the back of the caliper and the front of the piston put a piece of i'm going to put a piece of like scrap piece of flap bar over there and then i'm simply going to compress the piston back as per usual so i'm going to put you down and do that and just yeah then we'll basically be done so let's get that finished And just like that, guys, it pushed it all the way in. So DIY is simple. <laughs> if it ain't stupid, it works. Or if it works, it ain't stupid, as Jeremy Clarkson says. So now I'm going to do the bottom one, and then we can put the caliper back down, bolt it up, and then we're done. Mint. <laughs> now we're just going to drop the caliper and bolt it back up. like a glove so find your 14 mil bolt wherever you put it uh on the floor over here and find the slider uh when you when you find it eventually there we go great you might just have to pop it back a bit and then bolt it up And then tighten it. There we go. That's good. We have a bit of movement. That's perfect. So I'm pretty happy with that, guys. That was like a fairly long and outdrawn. But yes, that is how to change your brake pads on a Toyota 86, Scion FRS, Subaru BRZ. <laughs> and then obviously, he's going to have to put the um, your wheels back on and your lug nuts and everything and talk to respectable um, torque specs. I know this torque spec is 19 foot pound on that slider, but uh, yeah, <laughs> no ways. Uh, I'm pretty sure that was tight enough. But guys, that is just gonna be a quick one for today. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked to that. I think it's gonna look really good um, with the pads on the car. I'll probably drop a photo in after I do the outro, just to show you how it looks uh, with the green pads on the wheels and obviously on those wheels is going to look even better once I finish refurbishing them. But yeah, I think that's it for today, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment, do whatever you want, all those good things. And as always, 
don't forget to always send it. Catch you guys on the next one.